Locke. Yeah. Your adventure has been long over the few years that you've been a color. But one night, as you're sleeping, you reminisce about your, your beginning. And in your mind, you can hear the whisper of the star blade that calls to you once again. I try slide. Do you answer it? Yeah. You awake in a different room. Everything around you is colored in orange. Even the walls, the paintings, everything. Owie. A silent room. Nothing inside. Yeah. It grows quiet. Almost as if waiting for you. Okay. Also, I have to use the bathroom. Go ahead. So, sorry. Uh, give me a moment. Yep, all good. I rolled a three. Wait, yeah. Min is three plus. What is my. Oh, I get six hit points. Oh, so your mic is doing the static. Yeah, I know, because my phone's on. Okay. So, what do you do? I'm just in an orange room. What, what do you want me to do? It seems to be waiting for you to do something. Oh, just look around. Is the room completely empty? The room is empty, other than the paintings on the wall, which are also orange. Are any of the uh, paintings uh, at n not perfectly adjusted on the wall? <laughs> no. In fact, almost as if someone with OCD has been in the room, everything is organized properly. Okay. Then I'm just going to look around. There's not much for me to do. As you look around, you think you begin to hear a small cauldron bubbling sound. Mm -hmm. But you don't know where it would be from because it comes from all directions. Um, I'm just gonna chill and wait for anything else to happen. Nothing else seems to happen for a moment. And then... 
a familiar face appears beside you. Mm-hmm. Your friend. Mm-hmm. Shining with a black ethereal light stands Heki Akai. Hey. Okay. Also, have you seen his new art? Yes, I, I see it then. I gotta fucking show this on fucking camera, man. Look at this art. Fucking dope. Made by someone in the uh, server known as Warrior Road. You should probably join it in description. Uh, link in the description to join. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Anyway, uh, he appears beside you and he looks at you and he kind of looks confused as well. And then you notice that the room changes from just orange to orange and black. Okay. Split down the center. He will kind of look over to you and say, Locke, what are you, what are you doing here? Uh, my blade was calling for me, so I responded and uh, now I'm here. The same thing happened to me. So, are the other users going to appear, or just us? I think... Perhaps the colors are meant to be here, but... We are the two most powerful beings in this world. Well, not me, but you know who. Yes. I just happened to be in control at the time. Thankfully. I think that you and Fira would have a very terrible time here. You mean I would kick his ass? If that were possible, yes. Why do you say if? I've done it before. You know how it is with this world. Fair, but I am still the most powerful. And I know that you outclass him in every degree. Other than evilness. <laughs> well, of course, that is a fucking... Da. Well, it's called a joke. I, I, I know. I, <laughs> I, I'm not just this fucking empty carcass of a fucking NPC. What are you talking about? What is an NPC? No, I'm sorry. Anyway... Mm -hmm. Do you know why the Starblades would even call me? I'm not even considered a Starblade anymore. No clue. Well, friend, I, I may be able to make Starblades, but uh, fuck if I understand them. <laughs> you can make them? That was my whole goal. Why? He kind of like stomps his foot on the ground and says... That was my entire gold world! Uh, um, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why I gained the ability to this one day. I could just do it. Perhaps the creator had his own reasons. Perhaps. Will we un ever understand them? Probably not. I don't think anyone ever will. I think the creator is a fucking maniac. Yes, indeed. But we trust him with our fucking lives, of course. Kind of have to. Like, I mean, I he is the thing of all fucking creation, so yes, you're right. I anyway. Just don't understand why we are here if nothing is happening. I don't either. He kind of summons a little bit of magic into his hand, and it kind of floats there. What could we be needed for? Maybe something new is happening? I could forge you another Starblood. 
<laughs> that is a very bad idea. I was joking. Um, though, as it also turns out, for some reason, which I still don't understand, whatever Starblade I do eventually make will be stronger than the rest. Why? For, again, reasons I don't understand. But that makes no sense. Exactly. One after the next, they are meant to grow stronger? Fuck if I know. I thought Starblades were the strongest thing in this world, are they not? I think. Maybe they have potential to grow? We'll find out. Well, you're the fucking wizard on this, not I. Eh. True. Sure. But, uh, I, I really don't know. It's... All I know is I need to get rid of the dumbass. So tell me, how are things going? I'm just chilling, really. Have you found any other colors yet? Oh, yeah, um, made two, or one. Purple. Name's Vict. Vict? Er. Technically, it's Vict, but it's also technically a cosmic horror. Yes, I realize that thing was a fucking existence as soon as Fear saw his fucking eyes on it. Thankfully, it's more neutral than evil. That is a truth. Just kind of wants to watch. Yeah, and it will watch us go into fucking oblivion, I guess. I guess. Suddenly the room begins to shake. And oh, uh, Hecky Akai will say, What the fuck is going on now? We'll find out. <laughs> I suppose so. Uh, and as you both are kind of sitting there, uh, something is... Uh, suddenly... Something appears before you. Is it a being that is almost identical to a shadow? Okay. But the opposite. It is white in color and it has no eyes. Okay. And it just kind of floats there in front of you. Or, uh, wait, or fucking lock will say. Oh, hello there. The creature does not speak, but Hecky will say. Hello, friend? Enemy? What are you? The creature doesn't respond to either of you. Hmm. Hecky kind of looks at you like, the fuck are we supposed to do? I'll touch it. Your hand phases through it. I'm gonna try to use creation magic to give it a form. Oh god, Hecky will say as he sees the fucking creation magic. Uh, and as you touch it with the creation magic, a, uh, a barrier will appear as you try to touch it. Bruh. Log literally just says, bruh. Hecky will kind of get closer to uh, to the barrier and kind of hold your hand there and uh, study the magics of it and say, yep, we're not getting through that. Aw, oh, damn. You know the barriers that we wizards use? It's kind of like that, but imagine that created with fucking oblivion and creation magic itself. What if I smacked it with a chain? That is a very, also bad idea. You already know I'm full of bad ideas. Yes. But you are a color, and you must know better. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> not allowed to have fun anymore. <laughs> not if you're a color, no. The creature will finally lift its hand up. And Hecky will be like, Oh, it moves! 
very cool. Mm -hmm. The creature doesn't do anything after a while. And oh Hecky's like, this is boring. I'm gonna hold up the end of a creation chain to it. Not not like force it into it, but just like hold it to it. See if uh, it'll pick it up. It does not. Mm, damn. Puts it away. <laughs> you creatures. Mm. Colors. Yes. Blade wielders. <laughs> the two most powerful beings in the world. Uh, yeah, that's us. One of light, one of darkness. Please allow me to touch your blades. First, tell me what you are. That is exactly what I was going to say. I am you, and you are I. Uh... Explain a little more. I think what it is saying is that this is a fragment of the colors? Exactly correct, young wizard. Hmm. Okay. Holds out blade. <laughs> you... Hacky kind of, like, stammers. You... Tr thing already has its hand on your blade and... For the first time in your life, Locke, you feel as if you are weak as it pulls the tattoo off of your hand and holds the star blade in its hand. Damn. You feel as if your entire power has been drained. Damn. And it kind of looks at the blade and it will say... I'm glad that you trust me, Locke. Or should I say, Winter? Ah, oh, yeah, that person. I met him. Pretty cool. And suddenly, the Star Blade will vanish. Sad. But then. An ethereal white light will appear in the creature's hand, Ooh, and it shame. will place it onto your hand, and I have to check the document. Seven hundred thousand, okay. And in your hand, a new tattoo will appear. One mm -hmm. that shimmers with an orange ethereal light. And the creature will say, This is for you. Your Starblade has been given new abilities. Catch out real smooth. <laughs> and she will do the or it, sorry, it will do the same thing for Hecky, and it will say, Whoever currently wields your blade will gain this power, not Whoa, hey, the creature that it wields you, Akai. And Hecky will say, I thank you, but I believe my time is up. 
and he will vanish. Damn. And the creature will only look at you. And it will begin to explain. Before, your Starblade was mediocre. Something that could be improved on. So, I went to the creator and pulled a few strings. And I made you this. It's still a star blade, yes? Of course it is. Just check them. However, unlike before, where you had to hold back, this has no limits. Ah? You have three new abilities. Alright, can you DM them to me? They are very simple. Okay. Uh, it is basically being able to summon things from your color. So either summoning okay. the power into the blade, uh, which has been done before, but it hasn't really been understood. So you now understand how to do it, and you can do it consistently. Okay. Uh, this does not mean, however, that it will drain the power from the document that I have of you okay. and your current uh, power status. I believe it's 700,000, so you have a very big increase here. Yes, indeed. Uh, you can summon entities from the past in combat for a limited amount of time depending on how much power you decide to spend on them and yes this does consider Heki Akai to be one of them and you can indeed summon him in battle and he will not be fear he will be Akai um you also instead of uh healing a set amount of health you can choose from your 700,000 pool of the um, color, and you can choose to heal for that amount, but it can only be in one combat. So you can, so it's like every every day is like a new um, pool, and it doesn't okay. it it just goes back up to the amount of your uh, color stature. So 700,000. Okay. And it get re it basically just gets renewed every day. Uh, and the creature will begin to explain. Uh, and not only that, but you will have new abilities with the steel blade as well. And yeah. not only that, but your forge will be much, much better. Haven't seen my Keyblade in a while. It is no longer a Keyblade, my friend. Ah. I will tell you this. Only use the power of Forge within the seventh. Understood. Well, seventh or eighth. Yeah, depending on what happens. But I beg of you. The next chance that you get, I give you another power. And this is to all of your refractions. Mm -hmm. And it will summon a blue light inside of its hand and place it within yours. You now have the ability to choose who is the successor of any of the colors. Hmm. Neat. So if you happen to like a character, or happen to like a player, you can make them have a character in a session that will become a color. However, you must tell them what that means. Yeah. And the final thing that the creature will say is this. Now... 
You must know one thing, Locke. Mm-hmm. My name is Zanai, and I am the Twelve. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. So if you ever need me, you can say my name, and you will awake in your room normally. All right. I keep that in mind. Clap.